I'm Virginia, and I'm a librarian at the Sydney North Saanich branch of the Vancouver Island Regional Library. And I'm really excited today um, because I've been thinking a lot about books that have little things hidden on every page waiting for readers to discover. And these are a big hit in my house. Um, they're great for starting conversations. They encourage engagement with books um, for kids before they're reading. And they're a lot of fun just to read together as a family. And if your house is like my house, some of the littlest people are the very best at spotting those hidden things. So what, what am I talking about? Well, let's start with a book that you might have on your shelf right now at home. If you don't, you can definitely borrow it from the library. It's kind of a classic. You may already be reading it in your house regularly. And that book is this one. Yep, you probably recognized it right away. This is Goodnight Moon, written by Margaret Wise Brown and illustrated by Clement Hurd. Now, what some people don't realize is that Clement Hurd was very clever and throughout the book, he has hidden a little white mouse. Do you see the white mouse just there by the fire? <gasps> yeah, good for you. So as the room gets nice and sleepy and people get ready for bed, that little mouse travels around the room too and you can have fun trying to find it. That's good night, Moon. Another book from The Mists of Time, a bit of a classic, is this one. So this is Richard Scarry, and Richard Scarry writes the Busy Busy World series. This one is Busy Busy Cars and Trucks. And Richard Scarry's books, kids have been engaging with them for many decades. Um, they're great for building vocabularies and the pictures are just so delightful and engaging. But something you may not have realized is that Richard Scarry hides a little character named Goldbug. Goldbug is even hiding on the cover of this book. Yep, you saw Goldbug right there under the traffic light. So Goldbug will turn up in really odd places and kids have a lot of fun trying to find that elusive little character. So that's Richard Scarry's Busy Busy World. Now, the next book I have for you is kind of a librarian classic for story time because it's such a great book to read aloud. And um, true confession though, there are lots of librarians out there, maybe me included, who had been reading this book for years and not realized that there's an added layer of fun to this book. So, this book is called Wild About Us, and it is by the amazing Karen Beaumont, and it's illustrated by Janet Stevens. So it's a great read aloud, but if we open it up, Janet Stevens has given us a little clue about something that we can hunt for on every page. And you see this purple trail, and who's at the end? It's a buzzing fly. That buzzing fly turns up on pretty much, well, does turn up on every animal in the book. So just to give you an example, we'll turn here and you can see the fly is, yeah, right there on the rhinoceros. But I promise you, even though it's tricky to find, the fly is on every animal in the book. And you'll have a lot of fun hunting for it. Okay, now you may have older readers in your house and just because they're getting older and maybe reading independently doesn't mean that they don't still love the thrill of the hunt. So a couple of books for older readers. First, I wanna, um, I want to share this with you. There's a new series of readers um, that have been put out by 
highlights. This one's called Kit and Caboodle Fly the Skies. Um, and in these, in this series, what our friends at Highlights have done, they have a great story um, for beginning readers, but they also have all of these objects that you can look for in the pictures. Um, and sometimes this is just that little extra bit of motivation um, that readers need when they're starting out to get them really engaged with those books. All right, for even older readers, I have another series that I'm really fond of, um, and it's an older one. Um, you may have come across it before. This is this series is called the A to Z Mysteries, and it is by Ron Roy. This one is called Colossal Fossil. The trick, if you're someone who likes to look for things hidden on every page, is to make sure that you're getting the super editions because in the super editions, there is an added task where um, there are 26 illustrations, not counting the one on the title page, where they've hidden a letter. If you can find all the letters, you will spell out a secret message. And to give you an example of what that looks like, here we are nice detailed picture and you have to really use your eagle eye but um, you can see here there is do you see that letter s hopefully you have some paper and something to write with nearby you would note that down and then keep reading keep reading through the book noting down those letters and at the end you will have the answer to a mystery within the mystery so those are lots of fun, but you do need to make sure there are lots of A to Z mysteries. You need to make sure that you're choosing the super editions if you want to have the fun of finding the hidden message. All right, last but not least, one more for you. Um, many of you will be familiar with Where's Waldo. Um, it's been around, it was first published in 1987, so it's been around for quite a while and published in many different languages. Where's Waldo is that character that hides in really intricate pictures and you have to try to pick him out of the crowd. If you like that kind of challenge, you may really like this newer series that I have come across and it is called Pierre the Maze Detective. This series is by Hiro Kamagaki and there's at least three of them available at the library but I have to warn you they are a serious challenge. There are actually two pages of instructions about how to play with the book so yeah you can see this um, what you'll find inside, you'll find um, mazes, you'll find a clever story that connects everything together, and you'll also find tons of things to search for in these very intricate and delightful pictures. So that's kind of what it looks like. If you're looking for a book that's going to occupy a whole family for a good length of time, this um, series may be just the one for you. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed some of my recommendations for books that have things hidden on every page waiting to be discovered. If you like that kind of book, you can find lots more in the library collection. What I would recommend doing is a search for picture puzzles, just a keyword search, and a whole list of other great ideas will come up for you. Um, you can also always come into the library and ask one of us, and we'll be happy to point you into the, in the right direction for more books like this. Um, in the meantime, I, I hope you've enjoyed this, and happy searching. Have fun. We'll see you at the library. Bye.